also we, we brought out the guys from Darwin, Japan and England together with King Fisher, Mike Pereira um, and we've got Robin from England Motto and uh, Koki from Japan and brought them out to a bit of a stone bream fishing this time of the year in May we're kind of waiting for the winter fish the summer fish is just pretty much gone there's only a few areas where you can still find them and as you see very small look I'm binding up here little white prawn from Adkin Marine those little oh, those small yellow boxes of prawn you look for the white one and they work perfect for the stone bream small look I'm using 0.42 Siglon as my hook snoot it's fluorocarbon and a little two ounce sinker just that I don't wash around too much I used a knot here not a swivel and a swivel up top to tie it I've got my BG2500. Just a correction, it's not a BG2500, but a BG3000 I was using. Filled with 8 pound J braid and a crossfire 7 foot Dawa rod. And that's the perfect little setup. Got a little bait box on the side here, my prawn in there, and you just look for little spots. You're casting pretty much where you see there's an edge of a reef. They come and feed against that, so. Even if you land on the edge of the reef, you see this white water, you stand and watch it for a while, and you see there where it lifts, it's the edge of that reef. So you just cast it either on top of it, which is most effective, or just past it will also get the bite. Um, why well, I say it's most effective on top, if the fish comes up and grabs it, and you can maybe stop it before it goes off and possibly cut you off. These reef, the reef here isn't as foul, there's not a lot of mussels and stuff, so it doesn't really matter, you can just cast, hook them, land them, and enjoy the fight on the really light tackle. Now all the guys have been having fun this morning. Uh, Motto is showing all the guys how, because he's been catching the, the biggest stone bream and more of the stone bream. But let's get it in the water and see. Guys, now as you saw the stone bream in the previous vlog, the stone bream has got very small mouth. That's why we use the small, small hooks. Now the bait is slightly bigger to attract more. We allow them to eat a bit. You let them take it duh, 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 until it pulls you a bit down and then set the hook. You don't always hit it on the first bite. They're first testing it as well. I actually like that. I was too late then. I'm so busy concentrating what you say that I missed the fish. But in any case, you let it eat properly until it goes away with your bait. And then you set the hook so that it actually gets it in. But I've done this with a snorkel as well, where I took a bit of a hand line, with a small hook and some bait, and you'll see the smaller fish hit it first to test it. The bigger one will hang around. And when, it's, when it looks safe for him, he bullies everything out of the way and he grabs it. So that's kind of what you're hoping for to hook the kind of the, the slightly bigger fish. But a lot of times they take like now, take your bait off before you can set the hook. So I'll have to put a new bait. Motto was still on a roll, getting most of the bites and most of the fish. shrimp is some of the best bait you can possibly use for stone bream or any of the rock species. It's important to watch the water and if you've got polarized glasses it just helps so much more. Most of the time you can see the stone bream feeding and you have to follow them around as they don't stick in one place. In this section of about 400 meters they were moving up and down the whole time. Now this type of light fishing is really something to look at. Thousands of anglers in South Africa go out on a yearly basis with this ultralight tackle and 
and have really enjoyable sessions. Now the main purpose of this excursion was to test the Daiwa Prorex rods. The guys from Daiwa International were equipped with the Daiwa Prorex light spinning rods. The Prorex range is really something to look out for. These rods have been very intelligently developed to give you the maximum sensitivity and enjoyment in light tackle fishing. Just a little one. The stone ring became rather elusive with mainly some black tails showing their spots. The stone ring are elusive now. We've been trying to get them. I think I missed a really nice one just before this little black tail. My hook was obviously not proud. I'm using a very small hook with a fairly big bait. So it can happen if it comes up. Bait in its <laughs> and of course Ray Thompson couldn't resist to put a rod in the water as well. Finally again, the target species. For the size of their mouth, they really grow much bigger. And it's great fun on the light tackle, as they are very strong fighters. Stone bream like this. This is one of the more smaller ones for the day. The hook is perfectly in the side of the mouth. We're using pink prawn for them, as you can see. He's a little baby, but we'll put him back and we'll catch another one. Lovely little fish on light tackle. Here we go, I've got a little crossfire seven foot, with a crossfire reel, eight pound braid. And that's what we're targeting, these lovely little fish, and they can pull. I'll show you now. The bait that I'm using, very simply at the moment, a little pink prawn. Take them like so. This is a number six mustard long shank hook, very, very sharp. And I'm using 5.5 kilo Maxima nylon to my trace. Okay, we've got a cotton here. Just tie him up so he doesn't come off too quickly. That's it. Let's go catch a fish. This actually looks like a, it's a larp here, a type of a curve, curper between a bluegill and a curper which is freshwater species. A little sergeant major, also known as a five-banded damselfish. Amazing little fish. Yeah. <laughs> and he got all of me. 
can actually fence underneath him. He's even got barnacles on him. Really beautiful crab. At the end of the session, Ray was really dishing up the fish. He was fishing way on the left side and kept a close eye on where they were moving. The fishing's gone a bit quiet, yeah. So we're having those last couple of casts, a little black tail. Let him go with the water. Fishing. 